We're at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse where tonight the Red Wings host Green Bay Notre Dame. Hello everybody alongside the coach Chris Wright. I'm Mike Martin. Uh, Chris, a uh, couple, I don't want to say they're bottom feeders, but they're in the second half of the, of the league this year. Uh, we did see Notre Dame earlier this season against North. They got beat pretty bad. Uh, South seems to be coming on. Yeah, well, we talked about this earlier in the year about South High School. They're very, very young, as is Notre Dame. They only have three seniors themselves. South only has two. But uh, we knew it was going to be a work in progress for uh, Sheboygan South, and they played some really, really, really tough ball games early in the season against some very uh, highly ranked opponents. And the other day, they went up to Bayport and stunned them close at halftime, but pulled away in the second half for a six-point win. So to say you're kind of on a roll to get things going towards the second half of the conference schedule, I would say the Red Wings are one of those clubs. Notre Dame could make the same argument. They had a good win up in uh, Manitowoc. They beat them 60-59 to 59 in overtime. So both teams coming off a win. It should be an interesting game tonight. One thing I did notice in uh, doing my research today was uh, Max Reitstein was averaging about 15, almost 16 points a game. He's down to now at 10 points a game. We don't know the reason, but uh, his scoring has gone down. But they still seem to have pretty good balance. Yeah, a lot of balance is right, Marty. They got three guys that are, are over 10 points a game. So something to look out for. And again, like you mentioned, uh, a, a nice win in overtime against Mantuoc. Mantuoc's got some of their horses back. They played north to a close game last week. So obviously a very impressive win by the Tritons as well. But you know, I'm starting to feel like the athletes for South are kind of getting together and starting to play a little better. And, you know, as the season goes on, you know, this has a chance, you know, at the turning point uh, for South to be 4-4 four and four in conference at 500, which would not be something that Coach Rank would be disappointed with. South comes in uh, with uh, 66 three-pointers on the year, according to the uh, WIS Sports uh, website. And Notre Dame at 64, so we might see some uh, three-pointers getting launched tonight. Yeah, and we keep mentioning the game that the three-point shot is you know, such a nice thing to bring you back in the games, especially games that are really, really close. Both teams obviously have struggled in shooting this year, so anytime you can put up a three and put it in the hoop, that's definitely a bonus. A week ago when we were here, that was the case. A couple three-pointers by A.J. Gutierrez in that first half kind of led to the blowout uh, a week ago. So let's see if uh, South can keep it on a roll here. That Reese kid uh, had 18 points the other night. Uh, I think it was in the, in the win up at uh, Bayport. He had nine. So uh, Tyson Reese is a kid that uh, they're going to have to watch out for. He's been uh, playing more and uh, playing better. Yeah, if you if you want to get on the floor, put up 20 points, 18 points in a ball game, and they did that a week ago. And he's you know up his average, kind of someone who was kind of lost on the end of the bench. But you know when you have a little spark plug like that, like Tyson did. You know, showing himself a little, getting a little better. You got to get him on the floor someplace. You know, again, I think South. We mentioned before, has so many, so much talent on their team. They have so many good athletes. You know, it's just a matter of putting the right pieces into the puzzle for Coach Rank. And you know, as the second half of the conference season goes on, maybe we'll see more of that. All right, let's talk about what needs to be done to win tonight's ball game. Uh, for South, what do you see as being uh, crucial to uh, getting a win tonight? What do they have to do? Well, I think they got to shoot well. They, you know, we said it before, they haven't shot very well all year. Just continue to shoot better. Keep taking the shots that you had. To, you know, don't look for individuals, but, you know, again, feed off as many guys as you can. You know, you don't just need uh, Logan Hamilton, who's leading their team in scoring, or, you know, Ty Tyler Gunther to lead them. They have a lot of guys that can spread it out and score. You know, you mentioned Reese is one of those kids, but maybe it's Gutierrez. Maybe it's, uh, you know, who knows, Split Gerber or something like that. Uh, maybe it's Martins or Govek. I mean, any, all those guys can contribute, so I think shooting the ball well for them is a key to victory. And what do you see as Notre Dame's uh, path to victory? Well, I think they got to go out in their, their mojo. You know, they nice win against Notre, against uh, Mantuoc the other day, so playing on the road on a cold game, just, you know, go with what you have. You know, I mentioned that Coach Rank, I said, we, we've been playing a lot of basketball games. There's not a lot of prep time. You know, you know, <laughs> Coach does to tell it to the north side of town, always likes to, a lot of preparation, get our guys all prepared. Well, you're playing Tuesday, Friday, Tuesday, Friday. There's not a lot of off time. So, you know, getting back on the court right away, it's not necessarily, you know, the preparation. It's just, you know, continuing what you're doing well before. And both these teams coming off victories uh, should have confidence in tonight's game. All right, with that, we're going to step out. And when we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and a tip-off for tonight's basketball game.
He serves his party best who serves the country best, Rutherford B. Hayes. Patriotism is easy to understand in America. It means looking out for yourself by looking out for your country. Calvin Coolidge. Government is the people's business, and every man, woman, and child becomes a shareholder with the first penny of tax paid. Ronald Reagan. There is nothing wrong in America that can't be fixed of what is right in America. William Clinton. Be the we now. A board certified pediatrician. I've practiced pediatrics now for about 14 years and I always tell my parents I give the vaccine to both of my daughters and I really do not want them to come to me 20 years from now and say mom I have cervical cancer and you did nothing to protect me. This is a vaccine that is safe, is effective, and it can prevent cancer. Cable access channels ensure you the ability to exercise your First Amendment rights through the medium of television. They create opportunities for mutual communication, education, and artistic expression. Public access makes community participation possible and gives you a voice in your community and your world. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local public access channel. Fan. And we're Packers fans. Hi, I'm David Collins, superintendent of the Wisconsin State Patrol. Packers fans are the best fans in football. We, we are, are the ultimate, ultimate team players. The ultimate team player. Be the ultimate team player. Always have a designated driver. Always have a designated driver. Live responsibly. Packers fans. Don't let fans drive drunk. Responsibility has its rewards. Go Packers! Go Packers! Go Packers! Time was, kids did what came naturally, spending free time running through the grass, exploring streams. But times have changed. Today's indoor kids spend more than seven hours in front of electronic media. That's why National Wildlife Federation created the Be Out There movement. Outdoor play improves kids' health, body, mind, and spirit. It helps them stay fit, enhances creativity, and could even make them better students. There's a reason they call it the great outdoors. Learn more at BeOutThere.org. Be out there! Every child adopted from foster care remembers their one day. The day he first met his forever family. The day their adoption was finalized. More than 100,000 children are waiting for their one day. My one day was happy. Find out more at nationaladoptionday.org. It's over to uh, Sim Safford, the floor announcer. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to tonight's game matchup between the visiting Notre Dame Tritons and your Chevrolet South High Red Wings. To honor America most defending the freedom, we ask that you stand if you are able. Remove your hats and headwear. Place your hand over your heart for the singing.
are getting ready to be introduced. Uh, South, obviously, in the home white. Notre Dame in their visiting blue. Nick Wagner, number 20, making a start for uh, Notre Dame. Number 25 is uh, Max Reitstein. Number 32 is Matthew Rader. Got a brother, Mike Rader, on the team also. Number 42 is Reese Johnson. And rounding out the starting five is Jonathan Santaga. Uh, not very tall, Chris. For the Red Wings, they'll be starting uh, Tyler Ginter. Jared Splitgerber. A 5'11 junior. AJ Gutierrez, number 12, making a start. Jared Govek is a 6'1 junior, and rounding out the starting five for South is Logan Hamilton, a 6'4 junior. Notre Dame is coached by John Taylor, South by uh, Mike Rank. I think we mentioned Notre Dame comes in overall six and five, two and five in conference. South is uh, four and seven overall and three and four in conference. Both teams coming off a win. Notre Dame uh, winning their last game at Manitowoc in overtime by a point, and uh, South pulling off a huge upset up at Bayport, winning by six. South on the attack first. Chris and I were talking to uh, some friends out uh, in the commons prior to the game, and uh, Chris, I was surprised at the uh, evaluation of the three-point shot that some of those guys didn't want it in the game. I think it's a great, uh, a great thing, actually. Speaking of that, they hit one. Yeah, I like the three-point shot. It uh, makes the game more exciting. Brings uh, the small man into the game. Used to be just a big man's game, and I would love to see like Pistol Pete Maravich shoot up threes, and Oscar Robinson, and some of those guys. Yeah, really. Ball tipped away, picked up by uh, Govek. So. Manitou uh, pardon me, Notre Dame is going to get it. Thought he traveled. Yeah, I was going to say either way, Notre Dame was going to get it. And I, you know, like in the NBA, I don't like the two on two isolation and three guys totally on the other side. I love the way the Golden State Warriors play. Zone to start uh, for South here again. Notre Dame not particularly tall. Uh, not that South is overly big either, but uh, Logan Hamilton is the uh, tallest guy out on the court right now. Wrightstein is also listed as 6-4. Three ball, no good. And Notre Dame comes away with the rebound and putting it up and in was Santaga. Logan for three. Rims out. South on top, three to two early on. Good hands, but Notre Dame able to uh, get it back. Santaga for three. Five to three, Notre Dame on top. Gonna have to find that Santaga guy, Chris. Yep. 
kick out to Hamilton. Split Gerber. Good penetrate and pitch, but they can't get the shot to go. And uh, Gutierrez tipping it out of bounds. AJ is, uh, I know we, we've mentioned this before, but he's a whale of a good baseball player. Yep. You gonna do some pitching for him this oh, year? Oh yeah. Plays the outfield for him. Had a great season two years ago. Offensively. He's one of the best in our league. Reitstein's uh, shot from close in was short-armed, couldn't get it. Kovac on the drive down the lane, scores. We're all tied up at five. Three minutes in. Yep. Which means it's 15 minutes left. And Notre Dame chooses not to attack the two on one. They seem to want to set things up, Marty. Probably not a bad idea, but oh then we boy. get a foul on the floor. Another crew here that we're not too used to. I thought you had a good uh, point when we were talking to uh, Chris Hine about the uh, new officials is they need to get some new blood in there. Yep. Another three by Santaga. Oh boy, he's got eight points. It's only averaging 11, Marty. I got a feeling he's gonna get there this game. Yeah, he Who's had 19 average? threes coming in. Now he's got 21. Nice drive to the basket and a score by Ginther. Eight to seven. Santaga feeling it, couldn't get that one in and Gutierrez takes the rebound away from Reitstein. Hamilton open. Again, couldn't get it, but Govac with the rebound fakes and then he's fouled. That foul is gonna get called on Nick Wagner. Foul on the shot means Jared Govac will get two, miss the first. That free throw ties up the ball game at eight apiece with 13.57 left. Tyson Reese comes in, we talked about him. He's been uh, hot the last few games. And early off the bench, traditionally we see him much later down the bench. Earning some minutes. Yep. Shot attempt is no good by Wagner, and then uh, the ball is tipped out of bounds by O'Connell. Now Tyson plays, has been scoring a lot of points. If his bugaboo uh, to talk about would be turnovers, he's got to take care a little bit, a bit better of the basketball. Is that the North game he had trouble with that aspect of the game? A couple times earlier. We know he can score. Cut down on those turn a little bit there, Tyson. South working the perimeter. Uh, Notre Dame doing a pretty good job. Logan Hamilton leans in, got the shot off the glass, but couldn't get it to go. And coming away with the rebound was uh, Reese Johnson. So sticking with the man to man, uh, pardon me, the zone. Good ball movement, wide open shot, rims out for Matthew Rader. And we have a whistle. Ball is gonna go on Notre Dame's Reese Johnson. Mike Rank Jr. in the ball game for South along with uh, Evan Opgenorth. That's uh, pretty close to a carry right there, Chris. Yep. Oh, 
Uh, going through five blue shirts. Yeah, it doesn't always work so good, does it? Tyson scores, and he's fouled. Tyson Reese. Tacked the basket, used the backboard, drew the foul. Gives South the lead. Santaga picks up the foul. Left a little short. South on top, 10 to 8. Good pass in the middle. Santaga with a 10 footer, couldn't get it to go. Opkenorth looking to go baseline, but then brought it back out. Good closeout D by Notre Dame. Yeah. Tell Opken you, when they drive to the basket, uh, all the blue shirts fill up the paint. Santaga, no basket, foul on the floor. I think they're going to call that on uh, Matthew Rader. This is a blocking foul. Yeah, setting a screen, Marty, to free. Here's one of my favorite players to watch, Dylan Martins. Mine too. <laughs> <laughs> the old bull in the China, China yeah. shop. Yep, I like Dylan. I like Govic and his hustle. Hey, just to keep ourselves out of trouble, I like all the players. <laughs> They're all really sweet. Wait, how can he come out? Uh, I don't know what's going on, but I'm disappointed. That was strange. Yeah. Really? Uh, Gutierrez couldn't quite catch it and then uh, was covered up for the shot attempt. Hopkinorth with a rainbow, no good. Rolling down to, to the 11 minute mark. Saul still on top, 10 to 8. Oh, Hopkinworth, that was silly. What are you doing? Well, we're at the 11 minute mark. Both teams pretty much trading baskets, huh, Marty? Presently, South is on a five-point run. They were down eight to five. Now they're up ten to eight. But a uh, lot of trips, a lot of empty oh. trips. Boy, oh boy, that young man got away with the push. That was uh, Avery Lyons. And South picks up a foul. It'll be uh, Jared Govac. Wagner on the line. Free throw shooting hasn't been very good so far. South is one for three. Notre Dame now 0 for one. A crawler. Gerber has it, brings it up into the attack zone. Notre Dame continues in their man-to-man -man defense. Reese backs it out, resets the offense. Little scoop shot, got it. Tyson Reese, Reese he was just trying to probe in there and he got in there and tell you what, when you're on a roll, literally. Keep shooting. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of days those shots aren't going to go in. 
Yeah, that's yeah. double dribble. Yeah, what in the world is that? Hopkinorth playing the good post defense. Lions had it tipped away. Got a two on one and Split Gerber pulls it back out. Govek looking to go. Had to pull it back out. Reese is going to get fouled. He'll be at the line shooting a pair. Tell you, keeps finding a way through a hole there, and the defense closes, but without not making some contact, I guess is the best way to put it. Yeah. yeah we Looks get a like timeout I... by Notre Dame. <laughs> it's a full timeout carry with 9.38 left in first half it's south on top. Tyler Ginsburg. Back at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, and there you see Mike Rank talking to the troops. Defense has been pretty good tonight. Yeah, they both uh, hustling and helping on defense. But uh, as I was mentioning before the break, I was kind of laughing, Marty, because all the Notre Dame guys are setting up for a timeout, and South was all setting up for a free throw. <laughs> but anyway, it's going to. I was going to mention Tyson just seems to get into the little gaps and he's being rewarded with a uh, little contact while he's driving to the basket. He's pretty slick with the basketball. I got him at 75% from the free throw line, Marty. 50% in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Boy, those you got to go. make. Those are free throws, not being guarded. South and a man-to-man -man now, Chris. Yep. The ball is tipped away in the scrum. Martin's on the floor now, number 42. He checked in during that timeout. Montalvo in two for his first action. Jesse goes 6 1. He's a senior. Lob inside to Martin's is tipped away by uh, Notre Dame's Max Reutstein. Martins, 6'6", six, six. get it inside, that's right. And he got the shot off, couldn't get it to go, but he does draw the foul. And I believe they're gonna call that on Ryan O'Connell. Team fouls piling up on Notre Dame. They have six now. Just a second under halfway. Martins makes his first free throw. Short arm that one. South leaving a lot of free throws. Leaving a lot of points at the line. Yeah, You're right. at the line. Easy chances for points. Santaga. Good pressure, good recovery that time by uh, Tyler Ginther. Put a little pressure on Santaga's shot. But then he commits a foul. 
Fourth team foul on South. Good ball movement. O'Connell. A lot of contact. Yeah. They, I thought they did a good job of collapsing on the ball, but then uh, Gutierrez uh, really scraped them pretty good. O'Connell at the line. He's 87% and he misses. Yeah, he didn't even look good on that it's one. It's cold outside and it's colder in here at the uh, baskets. Uh, free Three. throws, nothing's going in. There you get a good shot of uh, Ryan. He looked like an 80% free throw shooter there. Ginther, a little too hard off the board. Kick out pass, wide open three is nailed by Max Legel. Uh, they're saying it legal, so we'll call him legal too. Just his third three-pointer of the season. Pulls Notre Dame within one. Eight minutes left. Gutierrez, got it. That breaks a run for uh, Notre Dame. Got a couple threes just like a week ago. We're here. A lot of active hands by uh, the Red Wings. Legal down the baseline scores. Another basket for him. Shot is blocked, a kick out pass. O'Connell with a behind the back dribble. He gets fouled. Ginther's gonna pick up that one. That'll, That'll be, be his, his second. Yeah, his second, but no bonus. Both teams now tied. Here comes Logan Hamilton. We haven't seen much of him. Logan's just gotta let the game come to him. He seems like he always just presses so hard to get those first couple baskets. Once he gets it going, like we saw a week ago, late things are all better same in the north south game he struggled in the first half but came alive in the second half yeah he got those two fouls early and then had to sit out for a extended period of time Reitstein with a three that's four threes for a notre dame and now they have the lead too 18 to 17. oh boy It seemed like uh, the Red Wings had a little more success when they were sitting in the zone. Since they've gone to the man-to-man, -man, they haven't been uh, quite as effective. Oh, Reese got back screened. Yeah, he got picked off pretty good. Wide open three is no good. That shot was missed by Legal. And that's just a foolish, foolish foul. Now they need to really start making them, Chris. Bonus time. Well, he said Tyson came in at 75% there. So uh, see. missed Over a couple, one. so he's one due to make three, a couple two in a row. for four. Let's get it up to 60%. Three for five, he bangs this one home. Ugh. All tied up at 18. Under six and a half minutes left in the first half. Hamilton goes for the steal, couldn't quite get it. Double, Double dribble. dribble. Let's see if they caught that one. Yeah, really. Fourth turnover on the Tritons. Well, 
South has got some good ball handlers in there now with uh, Split Gerber and uh, Reese. Hamilton posting up low. Get him the ball. Oh. Three turnovers now on South. It's not too bad, actually. They only have six baskets, though, Marty. Yeah, Santaga missed the shot, but then uh, Mike Rank Jr. Uh, couldn't control the rebound. Five fifty left in the first half. Tyson Reese with a good steal. Kick it over to Gutierrez. A good decision by AJ. Not to force it. South setting it up. There you get it inside to uh, Logan. Gutierrez puts it up and in. He's three for three from the floor. Gives South the lead with the five minutes left in the half. Looks like they're back into a zone, Chris. Keep an eye on Santaga, number 50. Oh boy. Oh boy. A jump shot in the lane is good by uh, Max Reutstein. That's the shot we wanted, but uh, I didn't expect it to go in. Yeah, that was an easy call. 42 or 25? 25. His first foul. Hamilton making his first trip to the line. Got him at 69%, 13.8 points per game, 5.7 rebounds, leads south in points and rebounds. The Only pure a lead, junior. go ahead. Only a junior, I was gonna say. Yeah. North, North trails to Pierre, to Pierre and Bayport tomorrow play by a half a game north, and north plays the pier up there on Friday night. South plays southwest, I think. Good kick out pass to Wagner, and he scores a two. Nice pass from Santaga. Notre Dame on top, 22 to 21. Hamilton trying to drive through, and they're oh. going to call a jump ball on that. I think. Oh, oh boy. Uh, shouldn't the arrow point South's way? Yep. He gave it to Notre Dame. There was one. South controlled the trap, tap, and then there was that tie up yep. down at the other end that they gave it to Notre Dame, and now they gave it to them again. Well, there was one underneath here, Marty. Okay. I didn't remember that one either. You mean they were right and we were wrong? <laughs> Come on. Reitstein makes that one. This is going to be the sixth free throw by Notre Dame in the half. South is shot three, five, seven, nine, eleven. South shooting 46% in the game. Their problem has been missed free throws. One, two, three, four, five out of eleven. Not good enough. Tyson Reese uh, down. Main Street uh, couldn't get it in. Good no call, too, by the way. Yep. Good positioning by the Triton defenders. Wrightstein 
Bangle. Oh. That hurts. They have five threes in the half. Oh, we, that's a lot. Hamilton. Got it. I was going to say, kind of forced that one again, Marty, but he got the roll. Rather see him a little bit more yeah, square really. to the basket. Learn to use that left hand. Under three minutes. Another force. It's not oh. good, but right in the middle of the lane to put it up and in was legal. Got to do a better job of blocking out. Yeah, couple late offensive rebounds by Notre Dame here. Almost lost by uh, South, but they keep it rolling down to uh, two minutes left. Good ball movement. Tyson Reese around and out. Oh. Opkenorth no good. And then uh, off of the hands of Jonathan Santaga. South will keep it. 2.18 left in the first half. 29-23, Notre Dame on top. Thought South was going to get a tip back just like Notre Dame had. Oh. Split Gerber couldn't save it. Santaga with a layup. Uh, not a good finish to this first half, Chris. Split Gerber driving down into the land of Giants and uh, couldn't get the pass off, but he was fouled. It's one thing that's kind of worked for South. We've seen Reese do it, now Splitty do it. Splitting that uh, Notre Dame defense, and then it seems like they get called for fouls. So the officials are calling a lot of those. So something to think about at halftime when you're Sitting there, hopefully the South coaching staff sees that as well. But you got to make the free throws, Marty. Yeah. Hey, two in a row. South down six, Notre Dame with it. South back into a man-to-man -man defense. Santaga goes right around Split Gerber, but left the shot short and then commits the foul. His third. You're right. And that was uh, just being uh, frustrated because you missed your shot. And that's going to hurt them. He's been their best player here in the first half. More free throws. We need them. I was just thinking Notre Dame's up by about six points under two minutes. You got the basketball. Be a little bit they smarter. They actually got up eight. It was 31-23. Now you're down to a four-point lead, and your best player of the first half is sitting on the bench with three free throw or Balls. three fouls, excuse me. So much sp spaghetti for supper. All right. Did you have sauce on that spaghetti? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now Deep watch three. it miss. We get no the good, rebound. Not a good yes. choice there. Oh. oh, but they come away with it. And out of bounds. I guess Tyson Reese must have tipped it away. It's just going to say. Get the rebound there, come down and score. Yeah, geez. That's kind of how I do it, Chris. There ain't no way I'm throwing it in. <laughs> Lions in the ball game. Minute 08. Lions. Not shot is good no shot. good, but Notre Dame comes away with it till Logan Hamilton steals it away. Good hustle by the boys that time. Not a smart shot by Lyons, a sophomore. Under a minute, 45 seconds left. Notre Dame up four.
Oh, four set time. Almost, is that a turnover? I called that a shot, Marty. Okay. Even though it went I know. over the basket. Looks like Notre Dame will play for one. Oh boy. Tyson Reese with the foul early. Probably better not to give him the uh, easy basket. But that is his second. 15.4 seconds left. And Reese Johnson at 46% from the free throw line. Oh, yeah. Good rebound by Hamilton. He's got three. We're under 10, Marty. Yep. Step back jumper is no good by Tyson Reese. Long bat at the buzzer is off the rim, no good. And we're at halftime here at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse with Notre Dame on top, 32 to 27. Actually, quite recently, just a year ago, when I met Donna, because she was so motivated and ready to lose weight and to get healthier. Well, since I've met Sue and listened to her guidance, I've lost about 80 pounds, and I have been taken off almost all my medications. To me, I mean, that's something to shout about. I just see the future getting better and better and better because I'm getting healthier and healthier and healthier. Ian Ralston was a combat medic who was injured in Iraq. When I met Ian, I knew he had to help him get his housing grant, an auto grant, and every benefit to live as normal a life as possible. And we did. PVA has helped hundreds of thousands of veterans get the care and benefits they've earned. My name is Jason Stevenson, and I work for Paralyzed Veterans of America. Paralyzed Veterans of America, changing lives, building futures.
Control your future. Excess weight or obesity can cause emotional and physical health risks, but you can take control. The Your Weight Matters campaign offers free resources and tips to help you measure and understand your weight. Take the Your Weight Matters Challenge. The free toolkit prepares you to speak with a healthcare provider about your weight. Your weight does matter. Take the challenge and take control today. This little chick has hearing loss. It can be lonely, sad, and often accompanied by ringing in the ears or even loss of balance. But there's good news, because birds have an almost magical way of regenerating their inner ear cells to restore their own hearing, so they can live a happy, chirpy lifestyle. Imagine if science could achieve the same miracle with people. Well, at Hearing Health Foundation, we support research that is doing just that. Visit us at hhf.org and learn more about the cure for hearing loss and tinnitus. Did you know that your thumbs are some of the scariest things on the planet? <gasps> Every year, an average of 6,000 people lose their lives to thumbs that are used to text while driving. That means that your opposable digit is more dangerous than volcano sharks, airplanes, jellyfish, tigers, lions, tornadoes, roller coasters, hippos, skydiving, spiders, and snakes. Texting while driving is more dangerous than all of those things. So why isn't it one of your biggest fears? This video was submitted by a student through the Teens Drive Smart program. For more information on teen safety, visit teensdrivesmart.com. Getting it.
you can see the clock running down in the upper part of your uh, screen. 20 seconds left until we start second half action. Uh, Notre Dame was led by uh, Max Reitstein and Jonathan Santaga. They each had 10. Max Legal off the bench had seven. For us south, A.J. Gutierrez had eight. Tyson Reese off the bench had six. Logan Hamilton, five. Those were the main scorers for the Red Wings. What do you got, Chris? 38% shooting for both teams, Marty. Uh, Notre Dame did hit three more threes, but uh, I think the three fouls on Santaga might come into play. See what happens here with number 50 in blue. Kick out to uh, Gutierrez. Couldn't get it to go. And then we're going to get a jump ball. Govac was tied up. Uh, probably should have passed it out. Reitstein uh, on the tie up, and Notre Dame will get it. Well, they got AJ on a wide open three coming out of the uh, halftime off the set. Just couldn't Almost get it get, to go. Yeah, just couldn't get it over the rim. Santaga rims off. Hamilton with a good rebound. And uh, Split Gerber on the push. Go back trying to go down the lane and scores. I'd be very surprised to see Notre Dame pull away from South. I think South will make a run. Catch up. Get him here in the second half. Drive down oh. the lane and the basket is good by uh, Matthew Rader showing good strength that time. Notre Dame is put together a little bit. They did win the uh, state championship in football this year, Marty. Oh, boy. Logan Hamilton had a good look. Govac with the rebound off the glass and in. Govac with a couple of quick baskets to start the second half. Yeah, and he's got two offensive rebounds in the first minute and a half for South. Notre Dame on top, 34 to 31. Second time they've been called for an illegal screen, Marty. Wagner, I think, picked up that foul. The score is 34 to 31, Notre Dame. Notre Dame continuing to play a man-to-man -man defense. Gutierrez stopped from driving to the hoop and now South pulls it back out. Ginther, quick release on the three, no good. And as uh, soon as the Notre Dame player lost possession, they had to call a foul on Gutierrez. Two minutes in. Notre Dame by three. South starting the second half in a man-to-man -man defense. They started the game with a 2-3 zone. Boy, Santaga looked like he got open there. Chris didn't take the shot. Posting up inside is uh, Raider. He kicks it back out to Santaga, whose shot is no good. And Wagner with a strong rebound, taking it right away from the south defender, but saving it is Tyler Ginther. South down three. Gutierrez, bango! He's got all three threes for South to tie up the score. Legal threw it away. Pardon me, that was Reutstein. Gutierrez feeling it! Two in a row! Notre Dame just won a four to start the second half with two turnovers. Santaga, good pass to uh, Johnson, no good. And 
Goldback with a good tip to himself, grabbed that rebound, and he's taking it right to the house, but uh, gets fouled on the way in. Goldback with six rebounds now in the basketball game. Very active on the offensive boards. Why would you want to take the three ball out of the game? <laughs> With those two threes, AJ now has 14 points. Ginther, good ball movement. Logan Hamilton wide open, couldn't get it to go. And Gutierrez couldn't control it and South loses it out of bounds. Logan now one of six, 0 of four from there. Just as soon see Logan around the basket. Lauren Fergins and uh, Justice Reese were two of the dancers out there, Chris, and they were uh, student helpers for at least two games so far this year. Nice to see those girls out there involved. Raider for an easy two. He's their leading scorer, but tonight he's just got two baskets here. Turnover? Yep. South still on top, 37-36. There's a 13-45 left in the ball game. Very entertaining. Well, Notre Dame had to a uh, season high for points and a half. That was. Uh... It's a good matchup underneath too, Hamilton and uh, Raider, number 32, oh, and they're going to get Split Gerber for a hold underneath. That's a tough matchup for Jared because uh, uh, Wagner is about three inches taller than him. Both guys kind of jostling. I didn't think Jared did anything exceptionally. Uh, hey, wrong what's a there. little hold among friends? I didn't think there was that much of a impact. Splitgerber on the program is five eleven. Wagner on the program is 6-3, so that's a four-inch difference. Wagner picks up his third. Yep. will be doing that. Reese in the ball game. See if we can get some dry penetration by number three or number five. Instead, Logan to the rack. Kisses it off the glass, no good. Opkenorth with a strong rebound. Keeps it alive for South. Good effort. A skip pass. That's, well, Ginther's gonna get a look at a three and nails it. But it wasn't a good pace, wasn't a good post feed. Three threes in the half for South in the first five and a half minutes, and good hustle by Opkenorth. Uh, was tripped up, no foul call. They're saying the ball went out of bounds off of uh, Notre Dame's Max Legal. Third turnover and a half for Notre Dame. What did uh, South finish up with? in terms of turnovers in the first half, Chris. They have five in the first half, seven in the game. Yeah, that's that's quite good. Kick out to Opkenorth, the rainbow three. Misses everything. Oh, boy. Reese uh, on a late call, probably the correct call, but it was late. Picks up his third. Govec. And uh, Montalvo. Montalvo checking in. And Jesse Edwards checking in. Jesse's got the do working tonight. I bet he had it working during the day, too. Yep. Day off today for the boys. Yeah. And girls. Maybe that's why the crowd is uh, not very good tonight, Chris. They're all home studying for exams tomorrow. Oh, that's got to be a travel call. Well, I think it's a combination of the cold weather, 
different night for a game Monday night. Yeah, not a typical night for uh Normally you'll play on basketball. Tuesday. Matthew Rader now with uh, five points. Chris had mentioned he's their leading scorer, averaging 11.4. Yes, three seniors on Notre Dame, so a lot of these guys will be back. Montalvo. Montalvo going hard to the hoop. And again, as we mentioned in the first half, if you drive to the basket, there seems a tendency to be a lot of calls, you know, if you draw some contact. Well, they're not giving them a shot on that, Chris. Chris mentioned it before. They do a good job of help side defense. Govek uh, missed the layup attempt. O'Connell, good defense by uh, Ginther. Edwards uh, playing the ball there. Raider, short jumper is good. Well, he mentioned it's their leading scorer. He didn't have a basket in the first half. Now they're going to call a travel on uh, Logan. He's got eight points. He's got all their points here in the second half, Chris. Their only seniors are Wagner, number 20, that play on Rolstein at uh, number 25, but the rest of the guys are all in their classmen, very much like South. Oh, oh boy. boy. Ran away from the ball, <laughs> and he still missed the shot. I think they're gonna get Gutierrez on this fall, Chris. Nope. Montalvo is gonna pick up that foul. 11 minutes Eight. left. Yeah, legal has it. We're all tied at 40. Oh, oh boy. boy. Flat footed jump shot. Wow. I shouldn't say jump shot, set shot by uh, Quinn Snyder. Edwards. Oh, couldn't get it. Martin with the rebound, couldn't get it. And Raider comes away with the rebound. Snyder bumped by Edwards. Stops action for uh, Jesse, that's his first. Lions is gonna come in and uh, Snyder is gonna come out. I don't, I don't think coach really appreciated that flat-footed jump shot or set shot. <laughs> hey, he got it up there though. I didn't think it was gonna get up there. Neither did his mother. Oh boy. Martin's hustling down. Whoa. And get it inside to Dylan. Not, uh, not good post moves by him, Chris. He's not gonna have a hard time getting it in. Montalvo looking no good. I'll tell you, the last couple trips down, they looked uh, pretty disjointed on offense. Raider being guarded by Martins. That's a great matchup down deep. Oh, Martin. Oh. Martin gets away with a foul. We'll give him a block. But he fell asleep a little bit on the defense that allowed him to get the ball to Raider. Who are your scorers out there, Chris? Well, you got AJ and Golvec, two, the only two starters on the floor. They're setting up the uh, offense. Let's see if Golvec can drive or AJ can get open for a three. Edwards looking. 
Couldn't find anybody. Just under nine minutes left in the ball game. Tried to slip it inside, but Lyons was on to him and uh, made the interception. Get the guards, starters, starting guards back in the game for South. Edwards trying to slice through and steal it. Raider had it tipped away. And going inside and not making it was uh, Lachlan Lars Johnson, but uh, putting it up and in was uh, Matthew Raider, and South calls a timeout. the military I was missing this camaraderie it's frustrating when you try and talk to people that don't understand I still had the anger I still had the uh, addictions but we didn't talk about that came to a point where it's like okay I really need to talk to somebody about this family more or less encouraged me you know go go to the VA it's okay to go get help it's okay to talk to people because it takes true strength to ask for help hear veterans real stories of strength and recovery at maketheconnection.net Back at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, uh, Mike Rank uh, trying to fire up the troops. Uh, Matthew Rader had no points at halftime. He was the leading scorer for uh, Notre Dame. He has 10 points here in the second half, all of the Notre Dame points. And he's four or five from the floor. He's got an offensive rebound, four rebounds in the game. Somebody's got to get a body on him, Marty. That's the key. Keep him out of the paint, off the glass. They got him listed as 6'6", six, six, and uh, pretty good matchup with him and Martins. Logan Hamilton had his hands full trying to guard him a little earlier in the half. South struggling now. They got to get somebody to drive to the basket. And then you can maybe kick it out like this. Ginther had a look, couldn't get it. I thought it hit the bracket up there, no call. Good try by AJ again on the offensive glass. Inside, nice feed to Lachlan Johnson who scores. Somebody not named Raider finally scored for Notre Dame. I like the dry penetration and the kick out because either you can draw a foul or you can bang down that three. See if South can do that again. Starting five on the floor for South. Logan there Hamilton go. goes to the basket and scores. There's that drive penetration. Logan two of eight from the floor tonight. 44-42, Notre Dame on top. Good feed inside to O'Connell. He shoots and is fouled by Tyler Ginther. Tyler picks up his third foul. Well, coming in, I had him at 87%, O'Connor, that is. I know he's missed at least two. <laughs> he was one for two that trip and 0 for one now, so he's one for three. <laughs> Doesn't look good from the free throw uh. line. Ball goes off a of Lachlan Johnson. South ball. Well, Raider coming out of the game. It's kind of strange, they just had a timeout. What's that know. mathematical term when you go back to the average? You know, you're way up there and then you move back to the average? Slump. <laughs> <laughs> you're talking baseball terms now. <laughs> it's a little surprise that uh, they took uh, Raider out of the game. South just had a timeout, so he had a quick blow. I wouldn't keep that man on the bench for long. Three seconds in the lane. 
turnover on Notre Dame. 6.20 left in the ball game. South needs to put some offense together. They've, had, they've struggled this second half. Uh, well, they hit those threes, Marty, but they only have two baskets that are two pointers. What I'm thinking is they just don't look like they're moving well no. with a purpose. It's no. uh, Ginther, oh. wild shot, not a good play there. Oy. Or they force it. Yeah, try to get that dry penetration, which I kind of like. O'Connell had it tipped away by Gutierrez. Gets it over to Reese Johnson, over to Hamilton. Got it. All tied up at 44. Good teamwork by the boys. Timeout, Notre Dame. Full timeout. 5.33 left. We're all tied up. A healthy diet and plenty of exercise are keys to success, both on and off the ice. Teaching kids how to eat right will give them the fuel they need to be at their very best. Growing bodies need lots of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, lean protein, and low-fat dairy to be healthy and strong. A registered dietitian can work with your family to help you create nutritious meals you will love. And don't forget to exercise for at least 60 minutes every day. Visit kidseatright.org for more information. One of the uh, younger fans in the uh, field house tonight. Well, He's well, enjoying well, life. I don't know about Green Bay Notre Dame here. You have five minutes left the game. You're tied. And Matthew Rader continues to sit on the bench. Hey, give him a rest. <laughs> Kerry well, Coutzer, our director tonight, Richard Bartson, uh, giving you that shot. And we have the invisible man running the uh, floor camera, except at halftime. That was me zooming in and out, goofing up all the settings. But Richard fixed it. Santaga kicks it out. Lachlan Johnson, no good. Santaga with the uh, rebound, kicks it out. Another shot, no good. Santaga with a hard rebound. And then we get a whistle. Logan Hamilton with the foul. Santaga has been uh, quiet since early in the game, Chris. Yep, he's uh, 0 for 3 from the sh floor here in the second half. So he's 4 of 12 in the game, including 2 of 6 from three-point land. Finish, finish with 10 points in the first half. Now has 11. And I have. And the ball was tipped out. Apparently by Logan Hamilton. And uh, Notre Dame is going to keep it. I'll tell you no. what Notre Dame has done really well here in the second half is rebound. Yep. Especially on the offensive end. I have six, six offensive rebounds, Marty. Good point. Raiders stays on the bench. No wonder his average is down. Tipped away. Almost. Wagner playing strong inside. Hamilton trying to match with him. Almost tipped. It was tipped away, but it came back to Notre Dame. And they no. get another offensive rebound. Hamilton finally grabs the board for South. 4.30 left in the ball game. Red Wings down by a point, and Mike... Rank calls a timeout. That was a long trip down, Chris. What do you think the uh, Red Wings ought to do? Well, they just try to... I still like the penetration idea, Marty. I mean, their best shooter tonight has been A.J. Gutierrez, so if you can get him open somewhere, but keep drive penetrating. Hopefully Mike, then uh, you can get a kick out. 
Mike's got the whiteboard out. I think he's drawing up the play that uh, you suggested. Our next game is going to be uh, Friday, January 22nd, when Christian travels over to uh, Lutheran for their first for their first and only game of the season. They only play once this year, and uh, we're a little disappointed. We always like covering those those uh, squads. Yeah, but big, uh, we'll only catch them once this time around. Yeah, the Big East. They should make a non-conference game their opposite uh, one. But uh, <laughs> remember that first couple times when they designed this conference and in football, North South football was a non-conference game. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Well, if I remember, it was at the beginning of the year too. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Why aren't they playing a conference game? Yep. Four minutes and 20 seconds. I Inside think it's going to come Hamilton. down to the last Raiders two minutes. Raiders back in, and then we get a foul. He was doubled up by Wagner. I don't know what the call is going to be, but uh, they're going to call it on Johnson. Uh, pardon me, Matthew Raider. And uh, they got him for three fouls. I look up on the board, and three South players and three Notre Dame players with that situation, three fouls. Hamilton rattles that one in. Logan with uh, 10 points. Gutierrez is stuck on 14. Uh, Santago almost traveled. Yep. I like Raider out there. Wagner doing a great job of posting up, but they don't get him the ball. Reese Johnson drives and scores that Santaga drove and scored. Yep. I didn't think he could put the ball in any room for him to put it off the backboard there, but he found some daylight. Pretty good South D. Notre Dame up two. How about one? Oh, he got the bounce. Ginther with a three. Oh, baby. Steal. AJ N Hamilton was on the line. They're going to give it to uh, Notre Dame. Well, the important point, the important point right now is South does have the lead, 48 to 47. Matthew Rader out on top. You'd like to keep him out there, get him away from the basket. Logan Hamilton playing, playing him loose on the outside. The ball is tipped out of bounds by uh, Jared Govac. Wagner goes 6'3", he's got pretty good size. A Little bit of meat on the bone. He hey. actually plays very tough. Got some guys that uh, obviously played football on this team. Yeah, you'd think so. 2.46 left. Reese Johnson has it out on top. Kick out. To Santaga, bango! Uh. And AJ Gutierrez was right in his grill. Oh, AJ went up, didn't get the call. They've been calling that all night. That's not a bad idea to keep doing that, AJ. Still plenty of time. Uh oh. Johns, uh, Raider goes. They're not going to give him the basket. They're going to say the foul happened prior to the shot attempt. No basket. I said, oh, no, because I saw the lane was open. Took it right down the left side. No help defense. Raider on the line to shoot a pair. 
51% free throw shoot. If well, it can't be a pair, Marty. If he, they didn't count the basket, should be a one and one. And it is. He misses that one. Yeah, he's 50%, 51% from the free throw. It's a guy to think about later if you have to foul. Tyson so Reese looking drive. for an opening. Yep. Good defense that time by uh, Reese Johnson, number 42. Go back trying to muscle his way in. Just got around Lackland Johnson, but uh, Johnson got called for the foul. Only this, well, the sixth foul. 155 left. Hopefully South will get in the bonus. Inside feed to uh, Ginther. He ah. forces it. Logan Hamilton forced it up. Got the rebound, put the shot up, but couldn't get it to go. You'll have a chance at the line to tie up the ball game. They have six rebounds for Logan now over his average, 5.7. Logan is now five for seven from the line. Nick Wagner out of the game. Reitstein in, he's sat on the bench for quite a while, that ties up the game. 145. Every possession now magnified, Marty. Exactly. Also, the next foul on South will make it the super bonus. Yep. Hamilton working real hard on the inside defense when Raider is down there. I like Raider out there. Oh, oh back good tour. move. Basket is up and good by Lachlan Johnson. Just ran a flex cut back door. A.J. had an opening, didn't take it. Hamilton slides inside and scores. That Way to go, Logan. Yeah, that was a sweet move. Under a minute, Marty. All tied up. Exactly one minute left. Looked like the clock almost stopped for a second. Interesting. Looks like South is in a zone. Huh. Hard to hold the ball for a minute. He doesn't want it. <laughs> Not there. <laughs> no. Rolling down to uh, 30 seconds left in the ball game. Hard to hold the ball for a minute, Marty. See? Oh, no! Gomek had all ball. You can't call that. Uh. Reitstein will be on the line shooting a pair. 73% Marty. Boy, I thought that was good D. Really good D. Dylan Martin's in the game. Huh. Take. <laughs> Dylan says, go back. You go on that side, Govek says, Dylan, forget it. I think he's doing that to get the rebound, Marty, and then they're going to call timeout. <laughs> 10, 15 seconds left. Ginther has it on top. Dylan Martin's looking to set a screen. They clear out his side. Ginther off, wouldn't go. And they're going to give it to South. It looked like it was off of uh, A.J. Gutierrez. And South calls a timeout with 3.6 seconds left. And they'll have the ball under the basket. What do you do, Chris? Well, it seems like Notre Dame really packs in the lane, Marty. So you're going to have to get something on the wings. I think that's going to be your best opportunity. They it just seem like they don't allow... You know, once the guys try to drive, it is. Or you catch it and go right to the basket. You only have 3.4 seconds left, so you got to make a quick decision. Looks like you're only going to get one shot, too. With that little time, you probably won't get a tip back. Doesn't look like uh, Tyson Reese is in the ball game. 
I think they have Ginther, Govec, Dylan Martins, Gutierrez, and uh, Hamilton in the game. They've got pretty good height. Yeah, I would I would think it's Ginther on a drive or Gutierrez or Logan on a jump shot. Govac could drive it too. I would I would be surprised to see Martins be the main focus on this just because he's not one of their leading scorers. Big body inside. You know, if a shot comes off the rim and he can tip it. All right, Govac will... Uh, Throw it in. We got Ginther out in the corner, and uh, Notre Dame now calls a full timeout. Kerry, let's take a short break with 3.6 seconds left. South down one. You show your smile to the world every day, but nearly four out of five Americans say they would smile a lot more if their teeth looked better. The good news is, healthy teeth can be safely and affordably corrected at any age. Advances in orthodontics have made the treatment more successful and comfortable than ever. Only orthodontists receive two to three years of education beyond dental school to learn the proper way to align and straighten teeth. To learn more, visit MyLifeMySmile.org. Back at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, getting ready to finish this game up. It doesn't look like we'll have an overtime, Chris, with uh, the spread being one point, unless, of course, we get free throws. Yep. Notre Dame has uh, Santaga, Reese Johnson, Matthew Rader, Max Legal, and uh, let's see, who's that last guy? Is that uh, Reitstein? No. Nick Wagner back in the boy up in the ball game. Wagner a pretty good game. Pretty pretty tall kid. They're packing it in. Three, four guys in the lane, Chris. Oh yeah. That's what I expected. It's got him. Oh, oh Gutierrez can't catch the ball. What's the call? What's the call? We got a foul. Timeout white with .4 seconds left. You get a tip. You can get a tip. Well, I think it's point three when it has to be a tip. Mm -hmm. 